Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Plain Simple. Today we're going to be looking at slats. Sl slats are these things. Slats are um, a control surface that increases the surface area of the wing forward to increase lift at, lo at s slow speeds. When the aircraft is flying at slow speeds, it increases the area of the wing by deploying flaps and slats. Slats are the leading edge of the wing that ex extends forward. Um, today we're going to look at how those are actuated and what keeps them working in sync with each other. Just so you get, a, you have an idea of what we're looking at. We're looking at the belly of the air, the airplane underneath the wing, uh, underneath the airplane. This here would be the wing box, right? The aircraft is running above my head here. We're looking aft, so the tail of the airplane is in that direction. The cockpit is the nose is right behind me here. This would be the left wing, the bottom of the left wing. This is the leading edge. This is a slat the bottom of the left wing and in this direction we have the bottom of the right wing with its slat also deployed. Now if the slats increase the lift you would want to make sure that the lift that one wing creates versus the other wing is always the same otherwise your plane's gonna want to turn to one side or the other. For safety and controllability and everything else you want both wings to be producing the same amount of lift and I'm gonna show you how for, for starters I'm gonna show you how the slats are actuated and how we keep them both actuated locked in the same um, same position we are looking that this here is the wing box this is the structure that joins the uh, right wing with the left wing and it's a fuel tank and so we're looking at the center of the aircraft right below the fuselage this up here would be the bottom of the fuselage, and this is right below the fuselage. This is the wing, the center um, wing box. Now this thing here, this is electric motor that drives a gearbox, and this is what drives the slats. And I'm gonna show you something for redundancy. There is that motor, but on the other side, I don't know if it's gonna be easy to see, right here there's a second motor which is a mirror image of this there's two motors two electric motors driven by separate systems this one gets its own power source this one gets its own power source independent systems for redundancy if one fails the other one can take over and perform the same duties now both of these are driving one gearbox which drives a shaft going in that direction going that way and that drives the slat on the right wing. On this side, we have this shaft, which drives the slat going along here, going that way, through the leading edge, driving that slat. Now, if you notice here, there's a, another gearbox here, but this is only to change direction. This doesn't reduce anything, it's just to change uh, direction. These shafts are, um, they have greasable splines here to allow for axial oh, thermal expansion and flex and movement and whatever so everything is nothing binds during flight and turbulence in the wings are flexing up and down and nothing binds so starting from the center of the airplane we have the drive motors that go through gears and drive the shafts both right and left now we get into make a turn over here we get into the leading edge of the wing drive through here and follow along here and we get into right here this is the slat as extended from the wing you can see the leading edge normally here with the slat retracted and that would be one smooth line but now the slats are deployed so the slat extends forward increasing the surface area of the wing now if we look in here that rail repeats 
every so often there, 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 and the whole length of the slat. And those rails are what the slat rides on to slide in and out. And you can see the path that it follows. It extends forward as well as down. That's why they're curved down like that. Now if we look in here, but what is this? This is the same shaft that came from the center of the wing and it comes over this way and it runs into this lead screw, another gearbox with a lead screw that turns and this is what pushes the slat forward, or that deploys the slat. And we have that, that shaft continues on the whole length of the wing. There it is, and it continues on the whole length of the wing, driving lead screw after lead screw after lead screw after lead screw, driving the whole slat. So, the complete length of the left wing, now we're looking from the bottom of the left wing, looking out towards the wingtip, looking at the slat from its backside. And now we're looking back into the center of the aircraft. That shaft is, connect, is connected to the entire leading edge of the wing. Goes through that center gearbox. Right there. We're back under, right here we're back under the fuselage. And it goes out through to the right wing. And we have a mirror image, the same setup on the right side. <clears throat> and that's just a, another cool, well I think it's cool. And if you're watching this channel, uh, you'll think it's pretty cool too. That is how both slats on both wings are mechanically connected, locked together so that one cannot deploy without the other. They are both deployed simultaneously uh, to the same degree to maintain the, the same lift on both wings. Uh, that's it. Quick view on how the slats operate and I hope you liked it. Thank you.